Okay, this video is going to be on hell. i try to make this one somewhat short. Um, so, hell. Um, a lot of people don't like that the King James Version uses the word hell. I think it's not that bad of a thing. I think the twisting that people have done to it since uh, they use that term uh, is where it gets twisted. I think originally it's just kind of a combination for a bad place that you don't want to know. There's, uh, uh, let's see, Sheol, Gehenna, the Lake of Fire, uh, a couple other words just kind of meaning casket or grave. Um, so instead of using all these words when they translated these words into English, they just com combined the the means of those words together, if you ask me, and came up with the word hell, just a bad place. You go after you die and you don't want to be a part of that because uh, there's you know, no life, no good to come from it. So, uh, I was going to go over a few uses of the word. Uh, the first place we see uh, hell used, uh, or the grave, <clears throat> uh, so... This is Joseph's father, and when they, you know, told him that Joseph is dead and brought him the coat of many colors, he is mourning and he says, For I will go down into the grave, Sheol unto my son mourning. Uh, so, Sheol, the grave, uh, that's kind of the meaning there. Hell, uh, Gehenna, is, uh, you know, there's different ways of looking at it, but the grave, uh, Gehenna, the lake of fire, you know, it's, it's just a place that you put the dead. It's under, underneath you, the netherworld, below your feet, under the earth, a place where the living is not, the dead are there. Um, so I think you know, the grave, hell, you know, lake of fire, these are places of death that you don't want to go. Um, the, the idea that I was taught where you're eternally tormented in, in fire, in, in, you know, fire and brimstone, I no longer follow, it says you're destroyed there, but somehow that destruction isn't real destruction, it's just a, an ongoing torment that never ends, I don't believe that anymore, no, I think you're just destroyed, you're burnt up, you're dead, you're destroyed. Um, as Jesus says in Matthew 10, 28, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. So, you know, they can kill our body here in this life, but they can't kill our soul if we're, if our life's hidden in Christ or, or God has us in his hand, he's not going to lose us. If we're saved, we're, we're not going to be destroyed, both body and soul in hell. So, body is different. Everybody's body dies. We all die, you know, here.
here it's, it's whether we're going to be resurrected, whether we'll, we'll have life everlasting or we're going to be destroyed in hell. The Bible talks about the second death. Uh, and the second death is being the lake of fire, which was created for the devil and his angels. So it wasn't necessarily created for humans, uh, but that's, you know, you're going to get destroyed there as well if you don't want life with God. You don't want to, you don't want to follow God. You don't want life with God. You can be destroyed as well. Um, so that's, that's my outlook on hell. It's uh, destruction. Okay, so so, uh, but the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. Uh, the second death. So, if you're reading the Bible, you know that uh, we die, and then the believers are resurrected when Jesus comes back and there's a thousand year reign and then after that the rest of the dead are judged and cast into the lake of fire so here in Revelation 25 uh, but the rest of the dead live not again until a thousand years were finished but I want to back up just a bit to verse 4 and it says and I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus, and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received the mark upon their foreheads, or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. So these are people who didn't join up with the beast system, who believed in Christ and God, and and uh, you know they've been resurrected from the dead when Jesus comes back, and now we're entering into this millennium, a thousand-year reign. Uh, lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years, verse five. But the rest of the dead lived not again until a thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. So again, the first resurrection is the believers coming back to life to rule and reign with Christ in the millennium. Uh, verse 6, Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. This is where we're ruling and reigning on the throne of God with you know with Jesus on the earth through his throne and when the thousand verse 7 and when the thousand years are expired Satan shall be loosed out of his prison so in the, in the first uh, the, after the resurrection the devil gets bound for a thousand years and then here in verse 7 after the millennial reign uh, and when the thousand years are expired Satan shall be loosed out of his prison that's the bottomless pit that he's been in for the last thousand years and verse 8 and he shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth Gog and Magog to gather them to battle the number of whom is as the sand of the sea so after this thousand year reign the devil's loosed again and he's going to go out through all the earth and gather the nations together and come at the come at the saints in this new kingdom and this is the battle of gog and magog many people right now are taught with, who believe in the pre-trib which we're going to get to next uh or second to next is uh you know, they believe that this battle of Gog and Magog can be happening at any time. And they're talking about Russia coming from the north as Gog and Magog. And 
but it's clear that the, this battle isn't until after the thousand year reign so they're just way off and wherever they're wherever they're at uh, but anyway after this thousand years the devil's loosed he gathers deceives the nations uh, and Gog and Magog to gather them together to the battle the number of whom is as the sand of the sea so there's going to be a lot of people that get gathered by the devil to come after the saints and they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about and the beloved city and fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them so the saints aren't even gonna have to fight uh, God's gonna just come down out of heaven and devour them and then verse 10 and the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever and that's I think the biggest place right there where the idea of eternal torment comes from uh, anyway so verse 11 now and I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away and there was found no place for them here's God showing up and I saw the dead so here's now we're seeing the dead and I saw the dead small and great stand before God and the books were opened and another book was opened which is the book of life and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works and the sea gave up the dead which were in it and death and hell death and hell I think you know hell like I'm saying it's just another word for death and hell destruction bad place where the dead go where you don't want to be and that don't come back to life death and hell delivered up the dead death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them and they were judged every man according to their works and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire uh, this is the second death so you know they die once you know like I'm gonna like we're all gonna die we all die once then the believers are rect resurrected for the thousand year reign but the rest of the dead live not until the thousand years had expired and then now they're being resurrected after Gog and Magog to stand before God and uh, and whosoever was not now verse 15 and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire uh, so when you're cast in the lake of fire again you're destroyed so that's uh, my take on hell and after that Rev 21 1 and I saw a new heaven and a new earth uh, and this is this is the new life ever after if you if you were continuing out here but anyway that's my take on hell you can comment below I know I'm sure uh, there will be a lot of comments on this too I know everybody's going to want to talk about uh, Lazarus and whatnot. So, but anyway, that's my take on it. So the next one is on being born again, born again, and post trib are the last two, and then we'll see where we go from there. So stay tuned.